So here we have a curious beast. It is a 1997 Rift PC, 233 megahertz strong arm with an internet browser and Java, that strangest of languages that even today refuses to die. Um, so I'm told that this one hasn't been opened since 97, or has never been opened, in fact. So, uh, let's open it. And you'll have to forgive the shonky camera work. I don't normally do this kind of thing. Uh, oh dear. One moment. Uh, need more hands than I have with a camera and a gimbal. Right. That flips up there. And I must confess, never really thought much about unboxing videos. Them strange things, but there we go. So, oh no, this is interesting. The, the box, you know, you'd be forgiven for thinking this was in a foot of water, but there we go. Inside, pretty good. So, what have we got? Well, we've obviously got a top tray, so let's take out. First of all, uh, gosh, the middle. So this will be a bit of keyboard. Uh, one handed unboxing will never have much fun. Okay, here we go. Well, Look like the nice gothic. Sorry, you can't see that because I'm holding this wrong. To the left then, after all. There we go. Okay, front keyboard. This clearly has never been out. Just chuck that over there. What have we got next? <laughs> okay. Mouse cable and mouse. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing else in there. Right, done. Right. So there we are. Okay, sorry, quick break due to choking noises from elsewhere in the house that needed investigation. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, we've got some curly sandwich style manuals here. And that will be a consequence of sitting around in a garage somewhere. So, Risk OS 3.70 manuals, etc. etc. Else here. <laughs> Much humour. Oh, and there's more. Oh, that was prescient. Gosh. I imagine the signatures are out of date for that. Right. I'm going to have to do a big Clive style pause and return while I get this out with. Um, more hands than I have right now. One moment. Okay, now back in the game. Um, I had to just focus on this for a second. It's not often, if at all, that you see this anymore. Made in the United Kingdom. That may have been why these were so expensive, of course. Uh, but that's dangerously close to politics, so we'll leave that topic alone. Now, uh, oops, let's go. Right, there we go. So, no, I can't use the gimbal. Now we have one single slice Risk PC. And if it's springs, oh, that's. Oh dear, springs are gone. <laughs> so, the interesting thing about this is that while we can take it apart, uh, it might be a little cavalier to turn it on. 
uh, I would expect the capacitors to be dead. But let's have a look. I would expect also that there may be Seymour's battery, well, trouble. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, yes, there is. That little puppy there. Can we zoom in? We can't zoom in. Oh, that's distressing. Can I zoom in on here? Nope. Okay, so we have a problem, Houston. That might be trouble, or it might not have hit enough of the board. Uh, there's probably some expert advice I'm going to need to seek on that score. And of course, we don't know what state the PSU is in either. So, what have we got here? It's a 103 watt CPU, that is a slightly bigger one I believe. There's a smaller one in some of the other models. So we've got some VRAM, we've got some RAM, and we have a strong arm card if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go, proudly strong arm branded. So, and Risco S in the wrong two big chips there. Sadly, this is about as far as this video goes, because uh, I need somebody more capable when it comes to assessing CMOS and PSU before I actually plug this in and turn it on. Not that brave. So, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching.